Previously, we touched on the Cakewalk Plugin Manager. However, in this module, I would like to cover more in depth how to set up the Plugin Manager to create your own custom plugin menu layouts. There are different ways that you can do this. For one, you could either choose to add folders and have them named. Or if you'd like a more straightforward approach, you can simply just select a plugin and hit add plugin. Now, as it stands, because I have this folder created, it's automatically going to place this plugin into that folder. At any time, I can do away with that by simply going to remove folder. Now, while folders are a great option, if you have a bunch of plugins that you use for one particular thing, say EQ or compression, you may like the more aesthetic approach of just having all of them laid out before you as soon as you open up the menu. If that's the case, no folders have to be created. You can also add separators, such as this. This will give you a little bit of breathing room between one set of effects and another. I'm gonna go ahead and add instances of a few different options so that you can see them all sort of laid out before you. So this option here would be with the separator added. I'm now gonna create another separator and the section below that, I'm just going to insert just straight plugins. Now I'm gonna create another separator. And for this next section, we're gonna use folders. Now, as you can see, these folders can be collapsed or expanded to show you what exactly is in them, and multiple folders can be created. If at any time you would like to put a plugin from one folder to another, you can simply click and drag it into a different folder. You can also rearrange the order of the plugins by clicking and dragging them. By right clicking on a folder, you can add a new folder, a subfolder, move it to the top or the bottom. You can also delete and rename them from here as well. All right, let's go ahead and save this now as a custom plugin menu layout. Then we'll open it up within a blank project so that you can see how the different variations of plugin menu layouts can work. I'm gonna click the save button. That's gonna bring up this dialog box here, which allows me to give it a name. I'm gonna call it test. And the save as type is going to be plugin menu layout. That'll be found within your Cakewalk core file. Great. Now you can see that it's been saved as test. Now, if I go up here, I can create a new one from this tab. I can open a pre existing or even save any changes that I've made from it here. All right, let's open up our test menu plugin layout by right clicking in the effects bin here. I'll go to insert audio effects and plugin layouts. From here, you can see that test is already available. So I'll simply select that. And now whenever I right click and go to insert audio effects, you can see here, these are all the options that we just created. The plugins at the very top of this portion are plugins that I've recently grabbed or reached for. Just below that, you'll see the goal FOSS, a separator, gain, a separator, and here's all of the plugins together as they would look if you used no separators. And just below that are the files that we've created. By hovering over each one of these, it will then create a separate sub menu that will show you what's in that folder. All right, let's cover a few more of these options that can be found within the Cakewalk Plugin Manager. From time to time, when you download bundles of VST effects from a company, at times they'll give you trial VSTs or VSTs that are included in a larger package. Those VSTs may not be usable within your program because you don't own the serial number or licenses for them. However, they still show up within your plugin categories menus here. If you find that you're going through plugins on this list that you don't actually own, you can always exclude the plugins by simply clicking on one and going to exclude plugin. This removes it from the registered plugins list and allows you to see only what you own. If at any time you would like to see those plugins again that you have excluded, you can simply click on the show excluded and here it is. Then you can go back and enable it. You'll notice that whenever you click on a plugin as well, you have these three options that are highlighted. 
Within Cakewalk by BandLab, you can also save custom plugin presets for each one of the VST plugins that you own. If you have switched computers or you've created effects on another computer, but you've already uploaded the preset file onto your PC, you can import them from here, export them from here, and manage them as well. By clicking on the Manage option, it opens up the Manage Presets dialog box, which allows you then to rename the presets as you should so desire. You can also delete the presets from this menu. Just below that is the VST configuration. When we click on Options, it opens up this small dialog box that allows us to set our VST scan paths. This can be greatly beneficial for excluding folders that may contain VSTs that we do not own, or including folders from other manufacturers that maybe have their own folder that's loaded onto your computer whenever you download their particular VSTs. You can see here too that you also have the option to rescan your failed plugins and to rescan your existing plugins. From time to time, if an update is done to a VST plugin that you own, that manufacturer may have it set up in such a way to where that update will not necessarily show up and be implemented on your version of Cakewalk by BandLab with your version of plugins. So if you've recently updated a lot of your VSTs, it may not be a bad idea to check the box, rescan existing plugins, and to go ahead and hit OK. From here, you can just simply scan your VST plugins folders, and a scanning process will begin. If you own a computer that's specifically for music production, this is going to take your computer a while to scan all of the various folders that you might have. Now, if you've just uploaded Cakewalk by BandLab, and you don't have a lot of third-party plugins, it shouldn't take too long to do a scan process. It's also important to note that whenever you first install Cakewalk by BandLab, there are several plugins that are automatically available to you. These are called stock plugins. However, some of them from time to time have been known to show up in the excluded folder. So remember to go to each one of your categories and click the show excluded to make sure that you're not missing out on something. In this case, it appears that I'm missing out on Boost 11, the percussion strip, my tube leveler, and the BX64 vocal strip. All right, so I hope this helps you to better understand how to create custom plugin menu layouts within Cakewalk by BandLab. Yet again, this is just another area of Cakewalk by BandLab that allows you for full customization of your DAW.